Hi everyone, this is Jamie Sanchez, President and CEO of Surge Industries, and we have another new update. I am so excited. That's one of the things I love about the streaming uh, industry as a whole, is because it is so new, it is, it is changing, and it changes quickly, and it changes for the better. And that's one of the things that I want to point out for each of you that's watching this video, that, that I just congratulate you on your decision to bring the Surge Media Player into your home and start experiencing the power of worldwide streaming. It really is going to be a trend going into the future, so you might as well learn about it right now. And so one of the benefits of working with Surge Industries is we stay out in the forefront of the technology, meaning we keep our eyes on the, on the add-ons. We test them out. When we find an add-on that we think will benefit our Surge family, that's when we do an update. We're not doing an update to make it any trickier, any cooler. What we're doing is we do updates to make your video and video streaming experience more enjoyable. And that's what, we're, that's what we're looking for when we get into the streaming, is we want to improve our home entertainment options. And all of you watching this video know that the, the Surge Media Player does that for you. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into this uh, quick tutorial. This is just on how to update your player. Uh, it is September 5th, 2017. This is the most recent update. I really think everybody's going to enjoy it, but we'll go ahead and open up our player. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down where it says Surge Wizard. You can see I have it highlighted there. You're going to click OK on your remote. It's going to bring you to this screen. Now, what I recommend every time you update your media player is that you go ahead and do a fresh start. For those of you who are Dexter customers, the only thing you won't like about that is you will have to go and re-enter your username and password information. But I'm, I'm telling you it's, it's better for your experience because you want to get rid of everything that we're not using on the new build and only have uh, the, the data and the information that is per pertinent to our new programming or our new build. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. We're just going to highlight Fresh Start, click OK on our remote. It's going to ask us, are we sure we want to do this? But the great thing is the last line, all add-ons excluding the Surge Wizard will be completely wiped out. And that's what we want to do. So we'll hit yes. And just like that, our fresh start was successful. We're now going to go through these dialog boxes that ask us to uh, force close Cody. Make sure you hit yes close on this particular dialog box and go all the way until you see this warning box. Make sure you hit OK. And it's after you hit OK on this warning box that's on the screen that it's okay to, to unplug your media player from power. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. All right, we're going to let it boot back up. Now what the Fresh Start does is it restores your media player to its out of the box the day that you received it from Surge Industries condition. So it's a, it's a fantastic feature that uh, we've included into our, our programming that makes it easier for you. And so, you know, remember our, our objective here at Surge Industries is to help you make the transition from cable or satellite and make that transition to worldwide streaming. And that's, that's why we're constantly improving the programming of our product. 
So we can see that we're connected to the internet. We're gonna go and highlight the big orange button on the left, that's our favorite button. We're gonna click OK on our remote. And we're gonna see that the media player has been restored to its out of the box condition. Now, as I was explaining, that's important because if we're not going to use a program or we're not going to use any information, there's no reason to have it running in the background as you're trying to stream a movie or as you're trying to watch a football game. So that's why we constantly keep our build clean so that you don't have residual building up in there that really uh, in the long run will affect your, your streaming experience. You'll notice while I was talking, I waited till all those updates went through. That's one of the key things when you're doing a fresh start or uh, an update to your media player. Make sure you have the patience and, and let all of those updates happen. So now we're going to go to Programs, click OK. We're going to see this first run help. And all this is, is showing you is that there is a, a menu that you can access off to the left, left side of your screen. And all you got to do to access that is push the, the left arrow button on your remote. We're going to click OK and close this dialog box. We're going to go down to program add-ons, click OK. We're going to go down to the Surge Wizard, and you'll see that's the only add-on on here. We're going to click OK. And this time, we want to go ahead and do the Surge Build, because this is where all the changes that we've made uh, to help improve your experience, this is where you'll be able to, to access them. So we're going to highlight Surge Build, and we're going to click OK. And you can see it's starting to download right now. Again, this is one of the benefits of owning a Surge Media Player is that we are constantly updating the add-ons where you don't have to go look around for what's good. You know, we're customers as well as owning the company and myself personally, when I see something that isn't working uh, exactly the way I'd like it, I, I start looking for a replacement. And so I think that when you when this this download um, finishes up and we reopen it up and you see some of the changes that we've made with this new update, I think everyone will appreciate it. We make sure and, and uh, try and take care of all your needs. We're about 50% there now. On this new update, I will share this with you that we have added a, um, a maintenance tool that every time you power up and open up your uh, media player, it will automatically clear your cache and purge your packages for you. So, you know, again, we listen to what our customers are asking for as soon as uh, the things they're asking for are available, we, we, we go ahead and, and make them available to our entire Surge family. So that's one of the changes. You'll notice that um, we brought on a new movie and TV show add-on. It's called Covenant. And Covenant is very similar to Exodus and Elysium. Uh, we put them on there because we feel that it's, it's important and, and it's also nice to have a backup if, if you're looking for a specific program or you're looking for a specific movie, uh, you can't find it in one place, uh, chances are you're gonna be able to access it through, through one of the other add-ons. And remember, each one of these add-ons are third-party providers. We don't have anything to do with them. Uh, they operate on their, on their own accord. Uh, we just research them and, and we keep the best add-ons at your fingertips. That's our goal here at Search. So you can see we've about got everything downloaded. Now it's going to extract the files. Now every time you do a fresh start and you do a, a build, you're going to get the same dialog boxes that say 
you need to disconnect from power. You know, do you want to force close, close Cody? You always want to answer the same. That's never going to change. And you always want to go through to the, the uh, last dialog box that says warning. Make sure you click OK before you unplug the power. It's very important that you wait. So here's the first dialog box warning us that we need to unplug the device. We're going to click OK. Here's the second one. Would you like to continue? Yes, we would. And then here's the, the final one with the warning on it. So it's after this dialog box, after we click OK, we can unplug our media player. So we're going to go ahead and click OK, and I'm going to disconnect it from the power. about three minutes from having the new build back on your media player and having you be in control of your home entertainment. I really hope each of you shares the power of what you have in your house with your friends and family members. They don't know what they're missing out on. They don't know that they could save $5,000 over two years like my family did. So here we go, we're about booted up again. We see that we're connected to the internet. I'm gonna go over here to the big orange button on the left. And just like that, you can see a new screen. Now I'm gonna point out this version check error. I've received a lot of uh, uh, questions about that. What that is, is a Kodi, which is the operating system. That's one of their functions. Again, we, we don't have anything to do with it. But if it bothers you that bad, I can show you how to uh, turn it off in another tutorial. But it doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect the, the performance of the media player. And Kodi is... is uh, a great operating system so I'm sure they'll get it put together so anyhow you'll see our auto cleaner there says we have 11 zip files would we like to clean them we're gonna say yes I'm gonna delete those packages and it's all done now if you look in the bottom right hand corner you're gonna notice there are all, all your updates are going to be going on. You need to make sure that you're patient as these updates happen. For those of you who are Dexter users, now is a good time where you can go and re-enter your, your Dexter information. That's really simple to do. You're going to go to videos. You're going to go down here to add-ons. You're going to click OK. You're going to highlight Dexter TV Lite, and you're going to hit the, the menu button on your remote, which is just to the bottom right of your directional uh, arrows. You're going to hit that menu button. It's going to bring this up. You're going to, this menu, you're going to go down to add-on settings, and there it'll bring up your username and password. The one thing I want to remind everybody you see that there's four characters in username. It says user. You want to make sure and back all those out before you put your username in. And you can see in password there are four characters in there that are designated by those four asterisks. You want to make sure and back those out. Enter your information in correctly and you're good to go. So just let the, the updates continue. I hope everybody loves the new update. I'm going to be doing another tutorial here over the next couple of days that is going to kind of be a walkthrough on, on some of the new changes and uh, that we added to the update, a tour if you may. But just make sure you let all, all the add-ons update and as always, have a blessed day and as we say here at Surge, whoosh!